What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm going to be talking about the 5 best and the 5 worst things about the Moto G Stylus. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, so we're just going to go ahead and start this off at a positive note. So first of all, screen real estate. The screen real estate is amazing on this device. As you guys can see, our camera is a hole punch camera, which pretty much gives us more screen real estate. So that's really, really cool. And I'm really liking the 6.4 inch screen looks really good. The second best thing about this phone has to be the fingerprint sensor. This is honestly one of the fastest fingerprint sensors and the fingerprint sensor is actually in the worst section as well. You guys need to wait till that comes up because uh, I'll talk about that in a sec. But let's go ahead and try this fingerprint sensor. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Insane right here. Three, two, one, go. It's super, super quick. Now I'm a fan of the fingerprint sensor on the back. I don't know how you feel, but I really, really like this fingerprint sensor. Now the third best thing about this phone obviously has to be that it has a stylus. Um, you can jot notes down, you can draw, you can do a bunch of different stuff with this, but I'm really liking the stylus so far. I'm using it a lot more. Um, and again, this is flush to the side. And if you guys said the style of five, you saw that it wasn't flush to the right and you had to turn your finger like that and do some weird thing. I really like the stylus cause it's flush to the side right here. Very nice stylus by the way as well. Very heavy, very hefty, very premium feeling. The only thing that I don't like about this stylus is you can't put it in any way you want. You have to put it in the exact way you took it out. So that kind of sucks, but really cool stylus. Number four, this has a 4,000 milliamp battery. This is a very, very huge battery. You will be able to last all day with this phone. Um, I've been gaming on this phone, been trying a lot of stuff and I did a little Fortnite research on this phone and I think you guys are going to really like the video uh, that I'm going to be releasing later on with this one, but really cool stuff. But yeah, battery is super, super huge and long lasting. Number five, and this one is super obvious and I can hear my friend Matt screaming it at the top of his lungs, but it is stock Android. Yes, this is a stock Android device. This also has Android 10.0. Um, we have a very, very nice interface. We have Google's UI on here and very, very smooth so far. So I'm really liking this, really liking the experience. Um, as you guys know, with other budget stylus phones, um, they tend to have very heavy skins on them. I'm talking about LG in particular. So it's really nice to get a stock Android feel with a stylus. So awesome stuff there. Now we are going to be talking about the worst things on this phone. Now, hear me out. I love this phone so far. I really do enjoy this phone. It made me fall in love with the stylus again. But I have to warn you guys. I'm not talking, you know, bad about this phone in any way, shape, or form. I feel like the pros definitely outweigh the cons, but I feel like people are curious to what my cons are. So these are the five worst things about the Moto G Stylus. Number one, this has no NFC. Now, this isn't a huge deal, honestly, for me, because I don't use NFC. Uh, but for people who use NFC, they're going to kind of be mad and they might actually not get this phone. But that's a really, really small group of people, so I feel like most don't really care. The second worst thing about this device is it is not AMOLED. Now, the reason why this is one of my gripes is because we have the Galaxy A20, we have the A51, we have the A71, and these are all AMOLED screens, and these are all cheaper than this device right here. So if the A20 can have an AMOLED screen, then I feel like this Motorola device should have one. Uh, but other than that, it still looks really good. So I'm not saying anything bad about the screen. The screen still looks very, very good, but I just feel it could have been super AMOLED. Now, the third worst thing about this device is this does not have wireless charging. So this does not have wireless charging. This is going to be standard 10 watt charging. Um, it still charges decently fast. You get a full charge in about a couple hours or so. So still decent charging rate, but it just sucks for the people that use wireless charging. And it's a shame because this does have a plastic back, so it'd be easy to put that in here. But that actually segues into the fourth worst thing. Now the fourth thing about this device is it is a plastic body. So we are going to have that 
plastic design on here it is going to scratch easier but it definitely doesn't feel super cheap so that's always a plus plus. and number five the fingerprint sensor is not in the screen now we've seen this on the galaxy a51 a71 a bunch of other devices that are literally in the same price range i honestly like it on the back but i feel like a lot of people um, would want the more futuristic approach that the Galaxy A51, A71, and a few other devices have. And we also have the Bold N1 that was a bit cheaper and that had in the display as well. So I feel like people would like that a little bit more. So that's why I added that in there. But yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already, as well as hitting the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tekking.